Carol Cut. C A R O L L C U T R A T E. C U N T. Cut rate. You know, come to Carol Cut rate. And we're. We're live, baby, back. Woo-hoo! That was personal. Those are great commercials, by the way. You know, <laughs> <laughs> women today, they really need a handbag. Oh, I thought, okay, forget it. What? No, it sounded like you were going to say something else. Oh, you want my man pack? No, I'll show you my man really pack. need a hand something. Oh, I but do. But it wouldn't be women, though. They yeah, it certainly would. I don't want no guy doing that. it. Are you crazy? Whatever. All right. You don't understand what I'm saying. I don't care. All right, so anyway. Hot, it doesn't matter. <laughs> we have Warren here tonight. What? Yes, we do. Warren, say hello. Hi. Can you, can you hear me? Yeah, Warren's got a paper bag over your, over his head. Well, he, he needs he to, wants to yeah. hide about, his anonymity. How about now? Warren's actually here because uh, he contacted me because he wants to tell a story about alien abduction, and I don't believe it, but Calamari and Shotgun actually are believers. I don't believe in alien abduction. I ain't saying anything about believing. I believe there's, there's aliens out there, but... You know, I definitely it's a possibility. believe that some people have been abducted. And I'm sorry, but I do believe that. All right. Well, Warren, why don't you? Uh, I'll introduce everyone to you, so you know. Okay. Okay. If you can, see, can you see in the paperback? Yeah. Can you hear? Yeah. yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Uh, but across from you, you have shotgun. How's it going? Hi. Uh, you, can you see Calamari? How hot she looks? Hi. She's very attractive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm Davy Love, by the way. Nice, yep. Nice to meet you. So, Warren, tell us um, when your first experi- um, mm. like experience was with an ad- abduction. Well, I've only had one. Oh, okay. It happened a couple of years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, I, it was Fourth of July weekend. Um, I was lighting off fireworks in the backyard with my family. Mm-hmm. I, I personally think uh, that that might have been what attracted the aliens to my house to begin with. and um, Why? Because they thought that uh, they liked to watch the fireworks as well? or Maybe. I don't know. Maybe they were traveling through. I don't, I don't really know. Were you cooking or something? No, I wasn't cooking. I'm not much of a cook. All right. So, so uh, okay. So, you think that the 4th of July had some way of bringing the aliens closer to you well um a lot of people that get abducted it's it's um it starts young in their life Uh uh-huh and how old were you when this happened uh 28 oh okay and how old are you now 32 okay happened four years ago oh i wasn't paying attention (laughs) well i didn't actually say years but whatever. All right, sorry. All right. Go ahead. So, um, I don't know. I went to bed that night, uh, and the next thing I knew, there was this bright light coming into my bedroom, uh-huh. and uh, I couldn't really move, and I saw two figures. I, I couldn't really make out what they were. They looked like kids, and... Um, Baby kids? So how did you know this wasn't a dream? How you? Why do you think this was real? Wait, what kind of kids were they? They I, were alien kids. No, I, I said they they looked like kids. They had so. The, so you were laying down there. What, did you have clothes on? Uh, yeah. And when the kids were there, did uh, did the guy from Dateline come to your house? <laughs> well, the Twilight Zone. <laughs> How about I finish the story before you start cracking off jokes? Yeah, I'm sorry. He, you have to understand that he does make a lot of jokes. So, kind of go on with your wherever you were leaving off. You saw the little people and the light. Yeah, and the next thing I knew, I was kind of in, a, like, almost like a, a meat locker setting, mm-hmm. like like a like steel walls, and uh-huh. uh, was on a table. And um, so, how did they get you there? You don't remember that? I I don't know. Oh. It, it was like. You go from in your bed onto this table. I don't, I don't, I, I can't really describe it. I'm sorry. So the little kids took you from the bed to the table. They, they weren't kids. You said they looked like kids. Yeah, that doesn't mean they were kids, Don. My name's Davy Love. Okay, <laughs> you need to be professional. What's your name, Lauren? Warren. Okay, whatever. So, so you, go ahead. Be nice to the guest. Yeah. All right. Sorry. You know, it's 
I, I haven't shared this with a lot of people, and it's taking a lot for me to be here. I just want to let you know that. Well, I'm sorry. It's taking a lot for us to have you here. Because everyone's initial reaction always is to say that I'm crazy and I'm an idiot and I, I was drunk or I don't know what I'm talking about. So it's kind of hard to discuss well, it. Can we ask you this though? I mean, I'm not. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just ser- like for the listeners, and f- you know, just from my personal standpoint. Did, or do you do any kind of drugs? Or I don't do anything that doesn't grow in the ground. So you do cocaine then? That does that. That's a synthetic drug, sir. Yeah. So it doesn't grow in the ground. You said you don't do anything. I don't do ground. anything that doesn't that. I only do things that grow in the ground. Do, were you doing mushrooms that night? No. Are you sure? I think I would know if I was doing mushrooms. Well, I'm just because you said that you have done certain drugs that. And where did this happen? At your mom's house? No. If again you were, you weren't listening, it was in at my house, and I was in my bedroom. And where, where, where is you, your bedroom? Yeah, wait is a minute. What part of your, the country is your live? bedroom at your mom's house? Uh, what, what part of the country do yeah. I live? I'd rather not say that. I, oh, I'll just okay. I, I'll give you a uh, a roundabout. It's in the Midwest. Oh. Uh, uh, so when you go into okay. your when you cross county lines, do you hear the dueling banjos play? No, I'm I'm not in down south. Midwest and down south are two different things. Okay. All right. Um. <laughs> So anyway, so they have you on the table. There's the, the little people <laughs> over there. So after was that the, a strong table, Warren? Because you're a big dude, man. So what happened when you were on the table? Do you remember what they were doing to you, or yeah, were they touching you? <laughs> yes. Where were they? T- were they touching your your foot? No. They were midgets. What about your leg? They kind of touched everywhere. Uh, were they know. touching your thigh? Did they? No. Did they probe you? <laughs> no, no probing. Do you think they had sex with you? Do you feel like you got raped by an alien? Give the guy a break. He really, really believes that this happened. Just, just well, do you believe? It's I'm. I don't know. I'm, I'm a believer. I don't. I've never been abducted by aliens, so I can't say that his, he doesn't necessarily feel this like experience wasn't abducted real. By to the Romans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me your tears. So anyway, okay. So you're you're. Now, did they take blood samples from you? Yes. Did it, okay. They, they they put several needles in me that were. So they did probe you. About well, that's probing is a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> well, in some way they prodded you then. They, okay. Okay. They plowed them. But they were they were big needles like hypodermic needles. Uh-huh. And, uh huh. And I don't. I, if something sexual occurred, I, I I couldn't. I know one of them climbed up on top of me at one point. Oh. But I'm not really sure. You know, I, I didn't feel aroused, obviously. Mm-hmm. It, did it look like a, a female alien, or they don't? You can't tell the difference. Oh. Were, yeah. you, were you aroused by it? No, I was scared. You were scared. So did it have breasts? No. no. So did it have like a vagina? <laughs> it didn't have anything. What? But how did you do it then? I didn't, he doesn't know. I didn't what, do anything. He did anything? It just. It but did, were you sore after the next day? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. All right. So okay. So this. Excuse me, sir. If if your dog climbs on top of you, does that mean your dog just banged you? <laughs> yeah. This dude needs to show me a little respect here, bro. You're not showing me any respect. There's a lot of people out here that have gone through what there I have. There are a lot of people that have claimed that. Yeah, know, and they're all they're all in rehab and they're like mentally challenged. No, there's some there's a, pilots and I mean not abducted, but there's pilots that have said they've seen UFOs and. Yeah, they're called know, stone. Temple pilots. <laughs> and people from the military have said they've seen, you know. Yep, post post uh, traumatic war syndrome. Yep. Okay. Keep going. PTSD, no. Yeah. So Shut anyway, after okay, after this, you know, they took some blood samples and this and that. What what do you remember after that? Uh, being back in bed. Okay, and then. Hey, you sure laying on your back a lot. And you're absolutely positive. <laughs> yeah, you <yes. laughs> You're absolutely positive this wasn't a dream at all. It was not a dream. Was it a wet dream? <laughs> <laughs> it must have been slimy. Yeah, it was. Did they leave any alien goop on you? Was it an alien bukkake party? What do you 